Welcome to the global defense battle. The India's Sukhoi Su-30MKI is a multi-role fighter aircraft developed by the Russian company Sukhoi and manufactured under license by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is an advanced variant of the Su-30 series and was specifically modified for the Indian Air Force. The MKI stands for Modernizirovani Komarchesky Indiski in Russian, meaning Modernized Commercial Indian. It is designed for air superiority and ground attack missions. It was developed to replace older aircraft models like the MiG-21 and MiG-27. The aircraft was inducted into the IAF in 2002. On the other hand, the Eurofighter Typhoon is a product of a collaboration between European nations, including the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain. It was developed by a consortium of aerospace companies including BAE Systems, Airbus, and Leonardo, and represents a highly advanced, agile, and multi-role fighter aircraft. It was designed to be a lightweight and highly maneuverable fighter, capable of performing diverse missions, including interception, reconnaissance, and ground attack. The aircraft entered service in the early 2000s, becoming the mainstay of several European air forces. The comparison between the Eurofighter Typhoon and Su-30 MKEY helps to evaluate their effectiveness, as both are advanced fighters representing different technological approaches from two regions, India and Europe. So let's start. Talking about the design and dimensions first, the Su-30 MKI is designed with a focus on versatility and agility, featuring a blended wing body structure that enhances its maneuverability. The aircraft has a swept-back wing design with canards placed forward of the wings, which help in increasing lift and improving maneuverability during sharp turns and dogfights. The twin-tail vertical stabilizers provide enhanced control during various maneuvers. The aircraft is quite large, measuring about 21.9 meters in length, 6.4 meters in height, and a wingspan of approximately 14.7 meters. The empty weight of the Su-30 MKY is around 18,400 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight can reach up to 38,800 kilograms. On the other hand, the Eurofighter Typhoon incorporates modern aerodynamic elements aimed at maximizing speed and agility. It has a delta wing design, which is triangular and offers excellent lift, reducing drag at high speeds. The Typhoon also uses canard foreplanes in front of its main wings, similar to the Su-30 MK wine, but optimized for lightweight control and faster maneuvering. The aircraft has a single tail fin for vertical stabilization. In terms of dimensions, the Typhoon is slightly smaller than the Su-30 MK wine, with a length of around 15.96 meters, a height of 5.28 meters, and a wingspan of approximately 10.95 meters. Its empty weight is around 11,000 kilograms, and the maximum takeoff weight is approximately 23,500 kilograms. Coming to the engine and performance, the Su-30 MKI is powered by two AL-31FP turbofan engines, designed by Saturn and modified specifically for the Indian Air Force. These engines come with thrust vectoring capabilities, which means they can change the direction of thrust to enhance the aircraft's maneuverability, especially during tight maneuvers and dogfights. Each engine provides a thrust of around 12,500 kilogram force in full afterburner mode, giving the aircraft a powerful push. This allows the Su-30 MKI to reach a maximum speed of approximately Mach 2. The aircraft has a thrust-to-weight ratio of about 1 ratio 1, which means it can maintain its performance even under heavy load conditions. The maximum range of the Su-30 MKY is about 3,000 kilometers without refueling, and it can reach an altitude of up to 17,300 meters. The rate of climb is around 230 meters per second, enabling the aircraft to gain height quickly during takeoff or combat situations. On the other hand, the Eurofighter Typhoon is equipped with two Eurojet EJ-200 turbofan engines, each providing a thrust of around 9,175 kg force in afterburner mode. These engines allow the Typhoon to achieve a top speed of Mach 2. The aircraft has a thrust-to-weight ratio of approximately 1.15 ratio 1 indicating that it has a higher thrust relative to its weight compared to the Su-30 MKY, allowing for quicker acceleration and agility. It has a maximum range of around 2,900 kilometers, and it can operate at a ceiling altitude of about 19,800 meters. Its rate of climb is around 315 meters per second, making it quicker in gaining altitude compared to the Su-30 MKY. This distinction highlights their operational roles, with the Su-30 MKY being versatile for various missions and the Typhoon excelling in quick and agile combat scenarios.
Now coming to the payload and weapons, the Su-30 MKI has a substantial payload capacity of approximately 8,000 kilograms, allowing it to carry a wide range of weapons and equipment. The aircraft is equipped with 12 hardpoints, which are attachment points for carrying weapons like missiles, bombs, and other ordnance. For air-to-air -air combat, it can be armed with R-77 medium-range beyond visual range missiles, R-73 short-range missiles, and the Astra BVR missile, which is an indigenously developed Indian missile. In terms of air-to-ground capabilities, it can deploy KH-29T and KH-59ME missiles for precision strikes against ground targets. It also has the ability to carry anti-ship missiles like the BrahMos-A, giving it a powerful role in maritime operations. The Su-30 MKI is capable of carrying nuclear weapons, which enhances its role as a strategic deterrent. On the other hand, the Eurofighter Typhoon has a payload capacity of around 7,500 kilograms, slightly less than the Su-30 MKI. It features 13 hardpoints, which can carry a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. For air-to-air -air combat, the Typhoon is equipped with AIM-120 AMRAAM and Meteor missiles, both of which are BVR missiles. It can also carry short-range air-to-air missiles like the Iris-T, providing effective close combat capabilities. For air-to-ground roles, the Typhoon is compatible with Paveway laser-guided bombs, Brimstone anti-armor missiles, and Storm Shadow long-range cruise missiles. The Typhoon is also capable of carrying anti-ship missiles like the AGM-84 Harpoon. While the Eurofighter Typhoon can theoretically be modified to carry nuclear weapons, it is not currently equipped for such a role in most European air forces. While Su-30 MKI serving both conventional and strategic missions, the Typhoon remains a dominant force in air superiority and multi-role combat without nuclear involvement. Talking about the cockpit design, the cockpit of the Su-30 MKI is designed for two pilots, a pilot and a weapon systems operator. The cockpit is equipped with multifunctional displays, which provide crucial flight data, target information, and weapon status. These MFDs are large, offering clear visuals, but they are primarily analog-digital hybrids, meaning they combine older analog gauges with digital screens. The cockpit also features a heads-up display that projects essential information, such as speed, altitude, and targeting details, directly in front of the pilot's line of sight, reducing the need to look down frequently. The Su-30, MKI's hands-on throttle, and stick system allows the pilot to control the aircraft and weapons without moving their hands from the throttle and control stick, enhancing reaction time during combat. On the other hand, the Eurofighter Typhoon features a highly modern and advanced cockpit designed for a single pilot. The emphasis is on providing a digital environment with state-of-the-art technology to reduce pilot workload and enhance combat efficiency. The cockpit is dominated by large color multifunctional displays that show real-time information about navigation, weapons, and system status. The HUD is also more advanced, providing enhanced symbology that allows the pilot to access critical information without looking down. The Eurofighter Typhoon integrates voice command systems, enabling the pilot to control some functions through voice. The HOTUS system is advanced, offering seamless control of the aircraft and weapons, enhancing the pilot's responsiveness. This contrast highlights the difference in generations and technological integration between the two aircraft, with the Typhoon offering a more modern and pilot-friendly interface. Coming to the radar and electronic warfare system, the Su-30 MKI is equipped with sophisticated electronic warfare systems, such as the Israeli-made ELM-8222 jammer pod and the Indian-made radar warning receivers. These systems help detect incoming threats like enemy radar signals and missile guidance systems, alerting the pilot to take countermeasures. The EW suite includes chaff and flare dispensers that release small metallic strips or flares to confuse and misguide incoming radar-guided and infrared missiles. In terms of radar, the Su-30 MKI is fitted with the N011 MBARS radar, a powerful passive electronically scanned array system. This radar has a range of up to 400 kilometers for long-range target detection and tracking, capable of engaging multiple targets simultaneously, both in the air and on the ground. It can track up to 15 airborne targets and engage four of them at the same time. The radar's ability to switch between air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes provides the Su-30 MKI with versatility in various combat scenarios. However, as a PESA radar, it is not as advanced as the active electronically scanned array radars found on newer aircraft, as it is more vulnerable to jamming. On the other hand, the Eurofighter Typhoon features a state-of-the-art electronic warfare suite known as the Defensive Aids Subsystem. 
which integrates radar warning receivers, missile approach warning systems, and electronic jammers. DAS provides the Typhoon with comprehensive situational awareness, detecting enemy radars and incoming missile threats in real time. It also has the capability to jam enemy radar systems, creating confusion and blocking their ability to track or engage the aircraft. The Typhoon's radar is the Captor M, a mechanically scanned radar that has been upgraded over the years. It offers a multi-mode capability, enabling the aircraft to track multiple targets up to 20 and engage several of them simultaneously. While not an AESA radar like the latest fighters, the Captor M still provides effective detection ranges and precision. Coming to the cost, the initial cost for developing this advanced variant of the Su-30 series is estimated to be around $1.5 billion. The per-unit cost of the Su-30 MKY is approximately $55 million, but this can vary based on factors like upgrades, customization, and the inclusion of weapon systems. On the other hand, the development of the Eurofighter Typhoon was a massive collaborative effort among four European nations. The total development cost is estimated at around $20 billion, making it one of the most expensive fighter jet programs in history. The high cost is due to its advanced technology, extensive testing and the integration of various capabilities from different countries. The per unit cost of the Typhoon is approximately $120 million, which is significantly higher than the Su-30 MKI. As of now, over 270 units of the Su-30 MKY have been produced, with the majority being assembled in India. Regarding exports, the Su-30 MKY is not offered for sale to other countries, as it is a customized version specifically tailored for the IAF's requirements. Other countries, however, operate different versions of the Su-30, such as the Su-30 SM, Su-30 MKA, and Su-30 MKK. But these variants differ significantly from the Su-30 MKE in terms of avionics, weapon systems, and technology integration. On the other hand, to date, over 570 units of the Eurofighter Typhoon have been produced. These aircraft are deployed by several European countries, including the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain. The Typhoon has been successfully exported to several countries outside Europe, such as Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar. The aircraft has also been offered to other countries, including India, Malaysia, and Japan, although not all have chosen it due to cost considerations or preference for other platforms. In summary, the Su-30 MKI and Eurofighter Typhoon are both formidable fighter jets designed to meet different needs and strategies. Both aircraft represent the strengths of their respective countries and technologies. With the Su-30 MKY focusing on strategic deterrence and multi-role capability, while the Typhoon emphasizes air superiority and quick, versatile response. This comparison shows the diversity in modern fighter aircraft design and their role in global defense strategies. Which aircraft do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.